What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Welcome back to the channel. I know this is a photography channel. I know lately I've been talking a lot about coronavirus, entrepreneurship, unboxings, business. I totally get it, um, but I will bring photography back into everything. Please note that I am a professional photographer, so if you're a photographer, a lot of stuff that I'm going through, you're going through, so that's kind of why we bring it in. Um, but today's video is photography related or gear related, if you will. Uh, I do a lot of behind the scenes videos here, TikTok, all this stuff, just funny, fun things. And a question that I get that I never really understood why is uh, this thing, guys, is uh, this little side thing. I shoot with a Sony a7 III, I 5D Mark III, 5D Mark II, 5D Mark IV. Um, and people always ask me, oh my God, like, why do you use a battery grip? What is that thing down there? Wow, your camera looks super professional. Do you have to add that thing to make it look professional? Oh, do you need this thing to shoot? Why is your camera so big? So we're gonna actually talk about what a battery grip is, why I use it, and why I can't go without it. What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Video helps you anyway, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. It'll tell you every time I come on. So guys, back to the gear, back to the life. This video is specifically about battery grips. So guys, when you get your camera, your camera is gonna look small. It's gonna look like a baby, right? It's gonna look like a baby. Um, and every time I open up a camera, it looks like this. And I actually see a lot of photographers, mostly, and I don't want a gender thing, mostly women photographers, and I think it's a weight or their hands or something, but their cameras are always like this, right? So um, you have your camera, you have no grip, you can still use it like, of course, like a camera, right? So you have your shutter here and all your buttons are here, your thumb button, your wheel button, your dials and all that stuff is right here. So you can shoot like this. But if you notice my hand right here, and my number one reason that I started using this is my hand kind of clips off here. They do sell stuff that goes into the um, hot shoe or the um, tripod mount that will actually come out and extend for guys who have bigger hands so that they can actually grip onto something. But I don't get a full grip on this camera without a, a battery grip, right? It's not a huge reason to get a battery grip because a battery grip can be anywhere from $150 to $400 depending on if you get your, your camera brand or like an offset brand. But guys, really, um, it's kind of annoying and it hurts your hand after a while. So shooting like this, and kind of having your, your pinky flail out will actually put more strain on the bottom part of your hand and you'll get the crunchies down here. And it's actually not good for you at all. Um, so no battery grip means that I'm shooting just like so. Super simple, super smart. It makes it light. It's how the camera's supposed to be. It makes your lenses look huge. It makes your lenses look ginormous uh, and so forth. But, you can only put one battery in here and you don't get the duplicate batteries, you don't get extra. So, so what a battery grip is, for those of the people that are like, what, what does it actually do? This is a battery grip. So um, it always comes with this. This part actually goes into your battery container so it looks the shape of a battery. And then you have your tripod screw. So this goes into your tripod screw and you screw it in just like so and I'll show you in a second. The cool thing is, is it also comes with its own other tripod screw. So don't think that just because you're utilizing that on your camera, you're not gonna have one to put um, something to mount your tripods on or, or, or any other device that uses that thread. For here, I use the hold fast system that goes into my camera to hang. So this goes down there and I can just screw it in just like normal. So it's exactly the same. I always buy the same brand that goes with my camera. You guys, so uh, Sony a7 II and a7 III might be a different one, a7 IV might be a different one. Same with the Canon. So don't just think your 5D Mark III and 5D Mark II and 5D Mark IV are gonna have the same one. You, every time I buy a camera, I buy a new one that goes with it. I spend the extra money to get the brand of the camera so the functions are all the same. Also on the back um, or on the top, you'll notice that there's another shutter button right here. This is your another shutter right? And then you have your uh, custom function C1, C2 that you would have on your camera as well. And I'll, I'll show you why that's important. You have a dial here. You have your AEL button, AF, which are totally customizable. You have your dial again. And that's basically it. On the side here is where you actually put your batteries. So if you notice, I have two batteries in here. It goes into here. Boom, like so. Oh, wrong way. Oh God, I can't do this this way. Just like that. 
right? Now I have double power of my battery. In order to put this in, I just slide it right in so, and then tighten with the wheel. Tighten, 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 tighten. So guys, a um, couple benefits and why I like it, we'll just go through that kind of swiftly right now. My hand fits and there's more room for it to fit. So if you guys check that out right there, my hand is just chilling, right? I have something to grip on right here, which feels really, really good. Um, it makes, and it's not for people with big hands, but if you have bigger hands, it works out really well. Mirrorless cameras are tiny or small, but I've always had this too, even with the 5D Mark IV, 5D Mark III. Of course I get the extra battery life, which is amazing, so I don't have to change out my batteries. With this camera, I can go eight to 10 hours of constant shooting, not thinking, multiple shots, continuous shots, whatever, and never have to change out my battery. I always have extra batteries, of course, but that way I don't have to worry about it halfway through. It does not affect anything else that happens within the top of the camera. So theoretically, if I can shoot like this all day, but the cool thing is, is when I go vertical, I don't have to do the armpit thing, right? I don't have to go, oh, check on my armpit when I'm shooting you and get my arm up. And I, I actually hate that. I see a lot of photographers shoot that way. And when they don't have a grip, they have to, they go, got it, got it. And it just, it just, it's weird. I don't know. I just never liked it. It's just one of those things. Um, so the cool thing is, is I can actually flip my camera. I'm in vertical, but look, hey, button here. All the buttons are actually in the exact same position. Wheel, wheel, shutter, shutter, auto eye focus, auto eye focus, or autofocus, whatever you have it as. Um, and, then the, and then the dial is actually in the middle as well. So the dial moves just a little bit, but it's still there, right? So you still have access to everything on both views. Um, it's just great when you're shooting in studio because you just mount your tripod and you can shoot this way. But also if you're shooting this way and you have the habit of doing this or something's in your way, you can still grab the shutter here. I know sometimes when I do selfies, it's actually easier for me instead of to go up to here to hit this one, which is on my camera, I just go over here and hit this one. So I need to do selfies or something, um, which is very rare with this camera because, because it's really hard to do selfies with a DSLR of any sort or a mirrorless camera. Um, double batteries. You get extra grip. Um, it just looks cooler. It looks bigger. It, it, it just feels more like a professional camera. The only bad thing with this is that these don't really fit into most bags where you know you, you go onto like Low Pro or something and you want to buy a bag and it says fits two cameras. It doesn't fit this type of camera. Um, any of the shoulder bags, Peak Design or anything, it's not really meant for something like this. Uh, so when you buy things, make sure that it fits a battery with grip. Um, and that's what it's called. We call it a grip. But yeah, guys, if you're not shooting with the grip, shoot with the grip. There's no real downfalls to it. The other thing also is that you can just take this off. When I go on trips to Disneyland or something and I want something lighter or something smaller and I don't need all that battery life or all the SD cards or anything, I just take this off, the battery goes in here and I'm back to normal. That's it. So. It's a good accessory to have and that's why I do it. So all the questions and comments that I get in all my videos is like, hey, what's that thing? Hey, why do you shoot with the battery grip? Hey, I don't like battery grips. Like you don't have to use it. It's just a benefit to you. We all love gear. We all love spending money. So that's kind of where we're at. Anyways, let me know. Do you shoot with the grip? Do you not shoot with the grip? I'd love to know. Comment below. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you next time.